Welcome to Biz Tip Tuesday. I'm Holly Signorelli, CPA and Wealth Strategist, and today we're talking about communication. Communication has gotten so confusing because we've got emails, we've got multiple emails. I don't know how many you have, but I know business owners oftentimes have multiple ones, which I think is a great idea. So if I have very different things that I do, I have four very different things that I do, I have four emails. That helps me to focus on one at a time and on each business at a time. I mean, that's really important because why people get confused on their emails is there's just a barrage of all kinds of emails that are completely unrelated. So if you want to be focused and more efficient, then you may want to have more than one email. And then, you, of course, you have to be careful because sometimes I send the wrong email to somebody and, and then now it's going into the wrong email that I want it to come to. So the point is that you want to make sure that you have your communication in line so that when you're working and answering emails that you have your different companies segregated. And then from there, please, if you'll just take the time to read the actual email and then respond accordingly, then you're gonna find that you have created more time for yourself. The reason that people, they, they feel like they don't have enough time and then they rush out with an answer, an answer that makes no sense because they didn't actually read the email is because they have so many. So if you can actually start removing any kind of spam in there, all you have to do is click on that button at the bottom and unsubscribe to that, that email. And a lot of people don't want to take that time because they don't realize that it really only takes about 10 or 15 seconds. And what you'll find after you do that is you'll have a lot less emails because they're not real emails that you need anyway. So now you'll have less emails, take a little longer to actually read it because sometimes you can miss just one word that changes the whole meaning of the email and then respond appropriately. You don't have to respond a long response because then somebody might not read it. This is just the place that we're in in our society right now. And you don't want to be too short because then people don't know what you're talking about. And that happens to me all the time. I look at an email and I'm like, I have no idea what you just said or what you're trying to ask me to do. You know, so just try to be more clear about that. And the other thing is in your business, really using things like Facebook or Twitter um, to, to communicate with people that way, it's not the best way to do it because in a business you want to be able to save emails and put them in a folder for your clients. And if you have people you know, texting you and emailing you and then sending you messages and messengers, then it, it's really hard to get all that together. It's hard to get it out of Messenger and put it into your email, and it just creates more work. So try to give your clients an expectation that, hey, texting is just for something simple. Like, hey, um, can we meet on Tuesday at 2? But if they have an action for you, something that you need to do for your client, make sure they email you so that you can actually put that in the queue and get it done or send it to your assistant. And Messenger, uh, not so much. I would say that's for fun and really probably not the best place to do business. It's it's really complicated and uh, I just think there's a better way to do that. But, you know, we're in this communication phase and it's not going to change. It's going to still get crazier and crazier. So try to get control of that because it's really important to be in control of your business. Have a wonderful week and uh, if you agree with me, then comment below. I'll see you next Tuesday.